by the end of this flight. What's up, dude? Subscribe access using this product. That What's up devs? Today we're building an onboarding flow, which means four main modal screens. A user's gonna come in, they're going to get onboarded to my app super fast. They're gonna feel great. And then yeah, that's that's kind of all I've got planned. We're gonna make some coffee first. Let's get going. So Maddie's been doing this UI UX design, which is essentially going to, as you can see, you're gonna go through all these little flows here, but let's do a simple version. What's this flow actually gonna look like? Okay, first step, they're gonna come in, they're gonna see the landing page, it's gonna have the call to action, and they can claim a link. So that's gonna be step one right there. After they try and claim a link, it's gonna take them in to the login sign up page which is just going to be like a classic split login kind of sign up page with some sort of like nice imagery on the side right after that they're going to choose the platform that they want to subscribe access to for their community and users so that'll be just selecting between a couple of pre-created options once they've done that that's now going to take them to a pricing page where they can actually select a price that they want to charge for access to this thing so there'll be like a main like input box but also a slider showing how much the creator could potentially earn so that'll be that next step so that's step four then they're going to be pulled down to a base theme page which is essentially where they can choose what the initial theme of their link looks like and so that'll just like have a couple of options at this stage there won't be too many but that'll grow over time and then finally after they've selected the theme they'll be pulled into the editor where they can finish up doing all the details and it just be like a beautiful split screen with all their details and information and such so that is the kind of core flow of the application. So yeah, that's the plan. I think I might even try and sneak out for a run later today. It's looking sunny as ever. Same as the last video. It's a Sunday today. I shouldn't be working, but we've got, we've got an app to build. So, you know, we're out here building. What do you think, Herm? I think the way that I'm gonna go about it is I don't wanna have four separate pages or five separate pages for this auth, well not auth, but like onboarding flow. What I'd rather have is like one component that does this like beautiful seamless like step by step through the onboarding flow just so it's like super fast and super reactive and it just means that the user onboarding journey is actually fun and nice for the user so the way you're gonna do it i think i'm just gonna build a custom component that is almost like a form and it's just pulling the user slowly through it with every step it's gonna save the user's progress and preferences and then by the end of this flow the user should have like had the most easy frictionless experience ever that they're like already sold on the product. That's the goal. So yeah, everything's gonna be built around that kind of core principle that this is the easiest and simplest way to get something up and running super fast for your like membership community. By the time you see this video, we've probably just hit 30K subs. So one, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. But two, also the pressure is on because I really wanna launch this Discord. And I said I'd do it at 30K, but I think realistically, I've gotta get this app finished first. So yeah, we're gonna prioritize this app. All right, let's get going. to a coffee shop somewhere in West Village. It's Monday morning. Apparently there's a public holiday here in New York City. I didn't think New York City stopped, but apparently today it does. So yeah, half everything is closed. We'll see what we can find.
Nice. Good deep focus sesh. Got actually quite a lot done surprisingly, so that's cool. Now we're gonna head home. Look how rainy it is. Oh my gosh. New York for some reason right now is going through stages of like boiling weather. Like yesterday I went for a run and I got sunburned, like a tiny bit of sunburn. And now today, look at this. Apparently it's meant to snow in a couple of days as well. So by the way, it's good progress on the build. Full stack things coming along. Project is coming along. Yeah, we're gonna head home, see Hermie, and we're gonna keep the day going. All right, so here's my plan going forward for the app. The thing with building apps for me is, and this came from actually a comment that I just saw come into the channel like half an hour ago, is someone said, can't you do like everything you're doing with like a Zapier integration? And like probably, there's probably a way that you can just like no code this and make it into something. But I think that's actually half the fun just like gone. For me, I just love building and I like making stuff happen and I like putting it together in code and I like owning the whole thing. Even if it turns into nothing, it's still a lot of fun and also it's like content, you know, for YouTube. It's a creative outlet for me. The double is that if it does turn into something, then it's like amazing and it's awesome and it's like cool. Now I get to like work on that even more. This app that I'm building right now is very much about creative outlet and it's an opportunity that I see that could be really valuable in the market for creators like me and people who want to like start communities, paid communities where they're offering specific value to a very specific niche of people who want what a creator might have. But then there's also the second part, which is where a lot of developers actually fall behind. And like even myself, marketing. How do you get new people to use your product? How do you get new people to like come into your app and go, yeah, this is what I wanna use. And that's kind of like the step that gets me the least excited because what I love doing is the build, planning it out, going step by step through, actually contributing code, pushing stuff up to the cloud. Once you've got it to a MVP state, then you're like, cool, now I actually need to get people on. Or like you're, you're validating before you even built and you've already got like a wait list of people. For some reason, I'm just not as excited about the marketing side as I am about the building. I love the building. But in business and in like building apps and startups, you do have to be very conscious of who the target customer is, how you're gonna acquire new people. And I think that's what's actually really cool about this app. Because for one, I'm actually building for myself. I know what I want and I know what I don't want. I was searching the internet for a solution to do what I specifically wanna do for building a paid community. And just no one was doing it well enough that I like. What I am really excited about doing is just like building my own stuff and I'm happy to work for really cool companies. So to keep this short, the main thing that I'm gonna to need to consider when I'm actually launching this app for the first time is network effect. And that's where I think this application in particular, I have a competitive advantage. The way that it's gonna distribute is first through me. I'm gonna be sharing a link to use this product so that my paid community can come into like my paid Discord. We can have a great time. It's just gonna like prove itself. Obviously any developers inside the community will really enjoy it because it'll just be like people like them who are learning, building, wanting to just do really cool dev stuff. And like, that's all I'm interested in. So I'll be in there as well, chatting with you guys. But number two, any other potential developer creators or anyone trying to get into the developer creator YouTube space or TikTok space or Instagram space, could be like, hey, this is something that I could do as well, which is great. Like there are a lot of people in startups and development and building that would probably enjoy this product as well. That's why I'm building it. Cause I'm going, hang on a second. If I could get 10 to 100, that's it. Other creators on board using this product that I'm building right now, that's life changing for me because it means I can go like full time on that. Or if I'm not going full time, it's just like something that pays the bills and allows us to buy Hermie like extra dog treats, you know, like it's, it's cool. It's really, really cool. And I think that's like the, one of the main reasons why I do development is because it's creative. You feel like you're like building something. You're really chipping away at something every single day. But also there's like this like dream aspect to it where you can get inspired and be like, yo, like if the numbers work out the way that I'm like potentially thinking, like this could be crazy. It's definitely exciting. And also at the same time, you are your biggest critic. Maddie knows better than anyone, but I'll like have these ideas and I'll be doing the numbers in like an Excel spreadsheet. And I'll be like, yo, like this is crazy. Like we only need like a hundred people using this. We're doing well. And then like the next day I'm like, oh no, there's, no one's ever gonna use this. Yet I'm like the perfect customer and I'm like, I wanna use this, you know? Funny. Anyway, it's crazy what your head can do to try and just, I don't know, disincentivize you to work. The point is, the app's coming along. It's actually looking really cool right now. UI, I'm really just trying to leave to the end. Core functionality is what I'm focusing on. I feel like if I can nail it for me, why can't there be a hundred other creators on this earth in any niche that 
it could nail for them as well. And then by that point, like it's, it's amazing. I can just go nuts on that. So yeah, that's the thinking. This afternoon, I'm gonna keep chipping away at this onboarding flow, make it just so ridiculously easy for a new user or creator to get on board, to connect their service, to set a price, to set a theme, to like do all this stuff. And then just like click publish and get going. I think if I can make the experience that ridiculously simple, I think it'll work. Another thing is we are about to hit 30K subs. So that's gonna happen probably in like next 10 minutes. And then maybe in 30 minutes to an hour, I might head off into Flatiron, go meet up with Mahalo and do some deep focus work in an office over there. So yeah, let's crack on with the day. <laughs> Not bad. you look at that 30k subs let's go thanks so much for subscribing for supporting the channel and uh onwards and upwards from here let's keep building Woo!